Hello everybody. Um, today is a beautiful day and uh, it's about 59, 60 degrees outside right now. The wind is just uh, very mild and it's from uh, the, I think it's southwest. So it's not as cold. It's a beautiful day today. Uh, I want to post this video talking about coronavirus. Now, um, the coronavirus was outbreak a um, few months, uh, started from uh, China, and it's spreading all over the world. It's because of uh, tourism, like people visit and traveler. Um, people who travel to China and stuff like that, and it starts spreading. Well, obviously it's spreading all over the world, and I'm sure some other country, like a third world country, they don't have enough medical, and um, maybe some people got infected and died from it, and they didn't go to the hospital to check. So, you know, they, it's, it is it is scary. But um, I see a lot of people that are very panicked because I went to Costco um, yesterday, tried to buy some just regular stuff, you know, my uh, regular Sunday stuff with the family and it seemed like I couldn't get anything. Everything is wiped out and it's annoying me. Uh, first of all, people buying uh, toilet papers, water, rice, or whatever it is that um, they feel like they need it for, you know, the virus outbreak. Uh, but obviously, um, people doesn't understand it. Like you don't need to buy water. If if you can't go outside and get waters, you can just boil water at home, and uh, you know, get the tap waters. And if you f don't feel safe drinking it, just boil it up and let it cool down and drink it. It's actually uh, healthier if you think about it. You know, you can get a filter, you filter your water, you boil it up, and then you let it cool down. You know, kill all the bacteria, whatever it is. That's the first thing. And the second thing, like, I understand there's a symptom that um, if you get the coronavirus, you might have some sort of diarrhea and stuff symptoms. But really, seriously, how much can you wipe? And if you run out of toilet paper, you can just wash, wash yourself. Like, you know, people in Europe and in Asia, they do that. You know, it's actually cleaner if you wash it with, you know, soaps and stuff better than just wiping you know it's more sanitized and it's more clean uh i can understand the people who really love rice and just stock it up so that i wouldn't care because i'm asian americans so i eat um asian food and i eat american food but mostly i eat american foods anyway my families are like that so it's okay Okay, that's just a part of being annoyed for um, going to Costco and try to get my regular stuff. Everything's wiped out and it's annoying because it's like something that you do and then you need it. You go there and try to get it and it's just out because people are just freaked out because of that. So I don't think it's worth it. Um, now let's get to coronavirus. Um, for coronavirus, um, accordingly to the new as of a few days ago, uh, most people that die from it are older people, and it seemed like to stay away from from the children, like the baby, young one. Uh, that's in the U.S. I don't know about um, other country like in Asia and China or so whatever. It's because um, you know you can't really tr trust a country um, um, where they're controlling all the news and everything else. So. It's kind of hard to tell if, if they tell you the truth. Uh, in the U.S., um, you know, Washington State is the one that have the most death from coronavirus. And mostly, I think, all the state on the East Coast and the West Coast, not so much in um, Central America. And possibly the South, some case, like, um, like New York, Washington State, Texas, uh, Florida, Pennsylvania. So I heard some cases got infected there. New Jersey. Uh, some people, um, like 
travel on a cruise or whatever and the thoughts spreading and um i heard that some place in the hospital like people come and steal the mask and stuff like that um they feel like if they wear a mask and go outside and they will be protected from it but actually that's stupid because you're taking um an equipment uh, um, a material that for people that need it to take care of everybody else like nurses doctor you know aid they need those masks to take care a patient regular patient you know people that not get sick from coronavirus but other virus other sickness they needed that you know on daily basics now you just kind of like go buy everything all the masks and stealing them off the hospital that's ridiculous and for coronavirus as i know okay the person who get infected should be the one who wear the mask not the healthy one because if they cough and then they spreading their germ everywhere and let's say you're healthy and you wear a mask and they cough on you yeah you don't breathe it in but if you touch some place like like a table or doorknobs or somewhere in public and they cough and they wipe everywhere or the germs is spreading everywhere and you touch it and you wipe your eyes touch your nose your mouth so you you got itch right here and then you go like that you, you get infected regardless so the person that should wear the mask is the sick person so if they cough or something it stay inside their mask you know if you're healthy you try the best to try not to go to crowded places if you don't have to and wash your hand and wipe everything down just wash your hand more than you normally does you know just precaution and um another point is that if you get coronavirus it's not like you're gonna roll over it's not like 100% you're gonna roll over and die it is a danger because it's spreading like so strong you know it doesn't some some bacteria or virus like i don't know like you have common flu and you directly cough on the person there you get but you cough outside by yourself and then you know later the germ probably dies or whatever i'm not sure about that because i'm not a doctor but the point is the coronavirus can live on like a metal surface for a long time and if you touch it you might get infected and the virus doesn't attack you right away. I, th I feel like it's waiting for your your body to get weak. So a few weeks later, you get infected. But if you have the virus in your body, you could spread it to your family. So like, oh, um, it's okay. You're strong. You still can travel on a cruise. You still, uh, you don't want to cancel your your plans and stuff like that. You still want to go to public place and do your thing. You don't want to be scared and, and, and freaked out. I understand that everybody we we shouldn't be freaked out we should live our life but you have to know this right you could be strong your immune system could be strong you might get the virus and might recover from it but when you get the virus inside your body you don't know you could spread it to your family your children your parents or whatever right you might recover but your family member might not they might have a weak immune system so how are you going to live with that if you know that you're the one who infected your whole family you know what i mean so like yeah oh uh, some of my friends will be like oh don't freak out and stuff like that you know you're like overprotective. i have young kid so i don't care if i had to wipe my hand down extra or soak myself you know like immerse myself in hand sanitizer i feel it's okay because I'm not only protect me, I'm protecting my family and the public. You know, you have to have a courtesy. You can't just protect yourself and not worry about your family or the public. What if you spread it to your friends, your neighbors or whatever, you know? So you have to be careful about that. And you have to think of other people, um, not just for yourself, especially the people that are stealing stuff, masks and stuff from the hospital. I'm telling you guys that the people who needed that to take care of all the sickness people, you take that away from them. You take an equipment away from them. Now you might protect yourself and your family, but you might kill the people in the hospital. 
You know what I mean? They have shorted the masks. They can't just wear them all the time. They need it all the time. Because it's not just coronavirus now. It's not just a hospital filled with coronavirus people. No, there's other people. They got other sickness too. They got cancer, all that stuff too. They needed that too. You know? So you guys need to calm down and stop doing stupid stuff like that. It's, it's not worth it. You get what I'm saying? Um, that's pretty much it. When you get coronavirus, it's not 100% like guarantee you're going to die. Or it's not like a 50-50. You know, there's a chance you can recover. And that chance is pretty high for me. I understand that. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, that's about thing that happened in the U.S., you know. There's some people that fighting each other in Costco or whatever. I saw it online on Facebook. They're fighting each other to, to get stuff and some of them actually, like, get hurt from it. I think that's just really stupid, you know. You just take a chill pill. You try to protect yourself. Like, let's say you got broke with leg from getting a bag of rice. And now you got to submit to a hospital. You got to lay there. The chance of you get infected by coronavirus laying in the hospital right now is very high. Because there might be a guy or, or a lady or a gentleman that got infected, went in there, lay next to you in an ER. So infected some nurse, infected somebody there, and that person come and, and have contact with you. That's worse, you know. So just take a chill pill and relax, you know, let let the doctors and the nurse and people do what they can't do. You know, do what, what they do best. And you feel like you feel like you have a symptom, you feel like you have some sort of sickness. Don't don't be like, Oh yeah, I'm I'm tough. I'm tough. You know, I'm a person that I don't like to go see a doctor for everything. But at this point you feel like you have a some something weird going on, you should go check with a doctor, you should tell the truth. You know, you'd rather be in quarantine than infect your family. You know what I mean? Because be safe than be sorry. That's how I see it. Anyway, that's just a little bit of update on coronavirus. Um, I mean, I'm sure you guys can Google and get more information about it. Mm. Uh, I wish you all best of health. And, um, you know, continue to be strong. Go out there, go work. Just buy an extra bottle of hand sanitizer. I don't know. Nine, 99 cents, a couple of dollars everywhere. If you can find it, if people don't just buy like 10 case of hand sanitizer. And just be careful. Just stay clean. You know, get home, jump in the shower right away. Just shower right away. You know, if you go in public, go home, shower right away. So you have young children, you have elderly people that live with you. You know, your grandparents or whatever. You know, take care of yourself and respect the public. Don't be coughing and sneezing and spit everywhere. That's gross. Because I do see that sometimes. I do see that. I see older gentlemen like just roll down the window and spit right on the road. You know, that's kind of gross. I, I, you know, it's just gross. Anyway, um, I wish you guys, you know, healthy and stay strong. And we'll be fine. Um, if any of you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. So, um, thank you so much for supporting me and follow me. Um, I'll see you guys soon.